So, still no explanation, eh? You come and go as you please, and every time you have a row, you dump yourself on us, and we're not meant to ask why. It's a home, Tom. Would you rather I went somewhere else? No, but I'd like to know what he's done to get you in this state. <sighs> I thought you'd be glad. I thought you wanted to split up. And are you? Splitting up? Or is it just you chucking your rattle out at pram again? I am not a kid! Cause you are just like him, thinking I don't know me own mind or what Well, I then want. stop behaving like a kid. You tell us you want to be with him, that, oh, if I keeps, and then you're back here in tears every five minutes. We are concerned, love. We just want you to be happy. Yeah, well, I am not happy. No, and you've not been happy since you moved in with Platt. He's not right for you. All these rows. You've got your studies to worry about. Yeah, well, they are the last thing on my mind right now. Right, love, whatever it is, you can tell us we are on your side. No, I need to see Martin. There's just the stuff we need to talk about. And you're right, Dad. I can't keep running away. Hasn't she got any legs, this Thelma woman? In a wheelchair, is she? No. Then why can't she walk her own, flaming dog? She's a busy woman. Too busy to walk her own dog? Oh, she got a cleaner then, has she? And a gardener? And somebody to come round her house of a night and draw her curtains and pick her nose? She says Lulu responds to me like no-one else. I know how to handle him. Yeah, well, you'd better make sure that dog's the only thing you're handling. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were jealous. Hiya. Hiya. I've done with your straighteners. I'll see you later. See you, Kirk. Ooh, that was an evil look. I'd hate to be on the wrong side of you. Yeah, he's up to something. Who, Kirk? Well, I thought you had the brains to be up to anything. Or the energy. Yeah, well, he says he's walking this woman's dog, this Thelma. He's never been so keen to go to work before. Oh, and what's she like, this Thelma woman? Well, I don't know. I've not seen her. But I know she's got money. Money and a dog. No wonder Kirk's head's been turned. I mean, I can't compete. Hey, that's enough of that talk. You've got to fight for him. I mean, I suppose he could be innocent. He could just be walking a dog. He does love me, Kirk. I know he does. I know he does. I've just got this feeling. Oh, right. What would Angela Lansbury do? Um, I know. We'll phone in sick. We'll find out where this Thelma creature lives and we'll go round there... Yeah? And, ..and we'll see just what kind of reward Kurt gets for going walkies. <clears throat> I'd hoped you'd be here. I've not slept all night. I was expecting your dad to knock the door down any time. Oh, well, I've not told him. I'm a mum. Why not? Just the I've always been waiting for, innit? Well, it's nothing to do with him. Just us. Oh, right. So why did he go storming off, then? If it's just between us, why did he go running back to them, like you always do? And you think you're old enough to have a kid? <sighs> Mine, please. He's staying. Oh, do you want me to? Katie. He's just such a mess, that's all. Yeah, well, it's a baby, Martin, that's all, you know. People have babies all the time. Yeah, and they live to regret it. Well, babies change things. They change your whole life. And look at Sarah. <sighs> I'm not 13. I'm not pregnant because I was mucking about with a kid at school. I'm in a committed relationship. Or at least I thought I was. Of course you are. So you're not going to finish with me then? Oh. What do you take me for? We live together. I love you. Everything's fine. But a baby... The timing's wrong, that's all. But it's happened, Martin. And, and everything's not fine, is it? I'm happy that I'm pregnant. And you're not. So what happens now? Oh, hello. Is that Mr Clegg? Oh, hello, Mr Clegg. I'm calling from Sunshine Desserts. And I'm delighted to tell you that your wife has won our new competition. She's been dead 14 years. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Do you by any chance have a daughter named Thelma? Or Maureen? Oh, oh that's a nice name. I had an auntie call Ma You sounded like a nice man. Right, next. Er, uh, 
715-6470. Does this light up at night? Oh, oh, hello. Is that Mrs Clegg? Mrs Thelma Clegg? Oh, hello, Mrs Clegg. Congratulations. I'm calling from Meaty Chunky Boys and I'm delighted to tell you that you have won a year's supply of dog food. You do have a dog, don't you? How lovely. Do you know, I've checked. And you're right, we're already up on last year's figures. Well, that's great. But, um, see, the only figure I can think about right now is yours. <sighs> have you read that, um, <clears throat> letter from Shaw's? What's happening in Sally's world today? Well, I've got a trip to the florist to buy some flowers for Mrs Knight. She's picking up a car at half eleven. And then I've got to finalise and send out a copy of the agenda for your meeting tomorrow and a hundred and one other things that's going to fill my day. What about at home? We don't talk about home. We should. Your daughter knows my daughter. I'm friends with your husband. OK. Well, we've booked a holiday to Crete. Which is fantastic. The girls will love it. Yeah, so will I. A holiday with pay. Well, we'll grind to a halt without you. At least I will. Not going to Leicester. Sometimes it feels like they care more about me than you do. Oh, yeah. Well, you tell them you're pregnant. You see how much they care then. They'd support me. Well, if I want the baby. Of course. Of course you want it. Not without you. I'm not after a doll to wash and dress. I want our baby, your son or daughter. You are such a good father, Martin, the way you are with David and Sarah. Well, sometimes I just get so jealous because you, you're so good with them. And my dad, well, like tries, but I can't talk to him like Sarah talks to you. Coming to you with all the problems and that—that that is a sort of sort of father I want my baby to have. You, you do know it's your baby, don't you? I, I have not been with anyone else. Of course, I know it's mine. Well, good. Then why? Why don't you want it? And don't say I'm too young. Well, you are. But are you just making excuses? We talked about having kids, mine. You said you wanted them, so what has changed? It's just... Maybe I'm too old for all this, hmm? <sighs> Yeah? Well, when did you decide that? I mean, when did you suddenly get too old, Martin? Cos I never noticed you're suddenly getting old. Well, look, I'm 40 next. I haven't got the patience for kids running around the place. Like, I've done all that. <sighs> but that's not fair, Martin. Man, you thought I'd want children. I mean, you talk about us being right for each other and, and being together and stuff, but did you think I'd never want a baby? If I'm too young now, what, what is the right age, eh? 20? 30? Oh, what is that going to make you then? 50? If you feel too old now, well, how are you going to feel then? Look, I just don't know what to say. I haven't got all the answers, right? I love you, Martin. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I want your children. I want loads of children. And I want them all to be just like you. And I want to be a good mother. And I want to marry you and be a good wife. And it's not a stupid, childish dream. Come here. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, OK? I'm sorry that I shouted. It's just all been such a shock, that's all. <laughs> Baby. But it'll be all right, OK? We'll be all right. Timing is not right, but... When is it ever all right? OK? Look. We'll manage. I'm going to be a dad again. <laughs> How do you feel about that? So you don't want me to get rid of it? No. We're having this baby. <laughs> oh. yeah. Is this it? Yeah, number four.
for. What are you doing? Pretending to tie my shoelace. Mm. Look at the state of them nets. They haven't been washed in years. Can you see her? No. <laughs> Keep walking. Do you think my Kirk's in there with her? No, he could be. Go and ring the doorbell. No, why? Because if Kirk's in there, then that dog will be, and then it'll bark. That's genius. Yeah. It's coming! What? Oh. He's going for the knocker. He's got his own key. Sally. What? Have I seen you after work? Look, I can't stay very long. Sally. What? I can't wait till tonight. Come up here. I can't. But we'll lock the door. They'll think we're in a meeting. Ian. Come on. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Busy? Mm-hmm. I bet you're looking forward to the shop opening again, aren't you? Uh, get back to work. Oh, can't wait. Um, I've just seen Candice. She didn't know anything about going out with you tonight. Oh. So, are you not going out with her tonight? Because, um, you said you were. Yeah, I know. I, well, I just... I didn't want... What? Look, I'm going on a date, OK? With a fella? Yes. Look, this is why I didn't want to say anything, because then the questions start, and then you start putting pressure on me, then you start worrying. No, I'm, um, I'm glad you're going out with boys. I, I hope you have a lovely time. Yeah, no, nip down to the salon later, if you like. I'll do your hair. Really? Mmm. You're not going to ask me all about it? Well, um, you'll tell us when you're ready. Tea, ma'am? Oh, yes, please, my love, yes. <sighs> so, how's Bethany doing at school? You're not even going to ask me how old he is or where I met him? Well, if, if you want to tell us. Yeah, I mean, you know, you said yourself, my darling. I mean, you have been living in a goldfish bowl for the last year. I mean, we quite understand if you don't want to tell us. Yeah, as long as you're happy. Yes, that's all that matters. Well, if you must know, his name's Scooter. I met him on the bus. There was only one seat left and he gave it to me. He's 19 and he has got a job and he lives on the other side of town. So there you go. You happy now? Kevin! Hi! Oh, just doing paperwork. <clears throat> what did you want? Well, what do you think? Because we got one last year and she hardly ever rides it. I, well, I mean, if it's a bargain, then yeah. Look, Kevin, I'm, I'm going to have to go because the phone's ringing. Oh. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. I'm not enjoying this. You're learning to be a very good liar, Mrs. Webster. Well, it's a good job, really, isn't it? You like it? Uh, it's very nice. I got it sent over from Morocco, especially. <laughs> It's called a bedler. <laughs> the whole get-up. <laughs> it's authentic. <laughs> oh, even smells of camels. <laughs> See, people think it's all from the belly, but it's not. It's very hippie. It's ever so good for you. Keeps you trim and tight. <laughs> My thighs are firmed up a treat. <laughs> we do this exercise at class. When I started, I could only hold a navel orange between my thighs. Now I'm down to a plum. I'm aiming for a grey. A seedless. <laughs> oh, it's great having an audience like this. I want to get it just right before I show my grant. <laughs> He's no idea I've been having lessons. Do you see how my hips are moving? Slowly rotating them. It's very sensual. And uplifting. Do you find it uplifting, Kirk? They call it 
the dance of love, you know. It's a bit different to the locomotion. <laughs> oh, look! I've got to show you this. I'm getting it framed. What do you think? Thelma and Louise. Lulu. Do you get it? Oh, yeah! Grant <laughs> <laughs> will love it. He loves it when I do mad things like that. <laughs> oh, I like this bit. What are they doing? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Are you sure she's not told you? Oh. She told you what she told me, that they'd had a row. Well, it's one more nail in the coffin. Mm. Do seem to be happening more often. Look, love, if she comes home tonight, I'll, you know, bag's packed and all upset, don't go on at her, will you? Just be pleased that she's left him. Do you think she might? Well, she'll cry all night and all that. Well, if she does, perhaps we should think about moving. Getting away from Platt. If she's not on his doorstep, then she won't be tempted to get back together with him all the time, would she? Let's just take things one step at a time, eh? So you'll come again tomorrow? Yeah. That's good. You're very masterful with Lulu. It's like you've got the golden touch. And it's great being able to practice without him getting under my feet. He doesn't like the veil. Keeps growling. <laughs> TTFM? <laughs> or should I say, a lure? Oh, no, that's a wire, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's an idea. Maybe next year I'll learn the hula. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, what was that for? I saw you dancing with her in her underwear. She wanted to show me a bedler. Oh, you disgusting! It's what she was wearing. I only went in there for a biscuit. She said she wanted to show me something. I thought it was a best in breed rosette or a novelty teapot. Oh, you're a liar, Kirk Sutherland. You're a liar and a cheat. Fizz! Do you think Apple's a stupid name for a baby? Oh. I do. We're not on to first names already, are we? No, we can't decide on names yet. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Not until we've decided on its surname. What are you saying? You want me to marry you? Will ya? One step at a time, eh? Mm, yeah, yeah. So, um, when are we going to tell people the news? Well, I don't think you should tell them yet. I mean, you've not even been to the doctors and I don't want to put a dampener on things, but with the first three months, Really risky for a baby, so I think we should just keep it to ourselves for a bit. Okay. At least I'm used to keeping things from my mum and dad. Mm. God, I feel so much better. I really felt like I'd lost you. Yeah, well, you're not going to get rid of me that easy. It wasn't just the baby. It was when I proposed, the way you rejected the idea. But that wasn't nice. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it, was I? It was like I'd come at you with a knife or something. Didn't know where I stood with you. Yeah. What you do now. Yeah. Mm, good. You know, we're gonna have to get a bigger flat. Because you cannot swing a cat round here, let alone bring up a baby. Huh. And I want a nursery with a cot and like mobiles hanging off the ceiling. Yeah. And loads of teddy bears because I love teddies. <laughs> oh, and you know, I don't I don't want to know where it is. If I can tell, you know, because I, I want it to be a surprise right up until the last minute when you tell me. Cause You'll be there, won't you? Of course I'll be there. Yeah, and you'll be the one that says it's a girl or it's a boy and they'll lift it up to me and I'll hold it close <laughs> and forget about all the pain and stuff and, well, nothing will matter then, will it? <laughs> Just you, me and our baby. <laughs> and you'll be glad I never took the pill and it'll all be brilliant and, <laughs> and we'll be a family. <laughs> a real family. <laughs> You never took your pill. I do not believe this. Yeah, but I just want to feel safe. What by getting pregnant? By tricking me! Well, it, it wasn't a trick. Of course it was a trick! You've not took your pill and you didn't tell me. It's a stupid, childish trick! Well, don't call me childish! Oh, stop acting like a kid! <sighs> I said to you, it wasn't the right time to get married. I didn't say I didn't love you. I didn't say I wanted you to move out. I just said it wasn't the right time. Yeah, well, the time is never right for you, is it, Martin? I mean, two minutes ago, you were happy I'm pregnant. Two minutes ago? I didn't know what a scheming little cow you were. I am not scheming. I just 
wanted to be pregnant for for us to have a baby. What is so wrong you with just, that? You don't know what life is all about, do you? You want to bring a kid into this? Our lives? Where you lie to me and you go behind me back? Is that what you want? Me and you at each other's throats day in, day out? Yeah, but you love me. Yes, I do. But you make it so hard. So bloody hard, Katie. So what are you saying? I'm so angry with you. I just feel like you're cheating me out of something. I don't know if we can go on. Oh, do you want me to just go out for a bit? I mean, I just don't know if we can just... I don't know if we can carry on together. Of course we can. We're having a baby. Oh, are we? Are we? Or are you? I mean, you've planned all this. Where do I come into it? You obviously don't need me. Go on, come on, you do. never need me. Is there any point in me and you just going on and on? Maybe we should just call it a day. Here and now. No. No, mine, please. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. I'll do anything, anything. Please, just don't finish with me, please.